The SR-72 Dark Star is rumored to be capable of traveling at a lightning quick speed, reaching over five times the speed of sound. That's fast enough to travel from London to New York, which is over 3,000 miles in just 54 minutes. The last known fastest aircraft barely surpassed three times the speed of sound since its retirement in 1998. However, in this race for hypersonic equipment by the world's superpowers, the leading contender is the SR-72 Dark Star. We'll explore the full specifics that make the Dark Star a game-changing air superiority craft how it compares to the last known superior aircraft, the SR-71, and finally we'll answer the question, does having the capability to build a craft of such terrifying speed mean we should? First, why the delay? Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance ISR, are critical components of a country's national security and defense strategy, especially during periods of international crisis. The retirement of the SR-71 Blackbird left a significant gap in the U.S. Air Force's unique ISR capabilities. However, this gap won't remain for much longer. The timeline of the SR-72 Dark Star is one of doubting commitment which has the world wondering if this aircraft will ever surface. And if it does, will it be used for military service? The Dark Star is rumored to have entered development in early 2007, when it was disclosed that the American defense manufacturer Lockheed Martin Corporation was working on an aircraft capable of flying up to six times the speed of sound or Mach 6 by the Air Force. From the onset, the Dark Star has faced multiple drawbacks. To attain such outstanding speeds, Lockheed Martin and Aerojet Rocketdyne started working on a capable system in 2006, based on the scramjet-powered HTV-3X. This program was canceled in 2008. In addition, the design needed for the Dark Star was for an engine capable of handling multiple flight regimes, including subsonic, speeds less than the speed of sound, transonic, speeds close to the speed of sound, Mach 0.8 to 1.2, supersonic, speeds between the speed of sound and five times the speed of sound, and hypersonic speeds, speeds greater than five times the speed of sound. When tested, however, it performed poorly at subsonic speeds but it was very efficient at supersonic speeds. But the best part? It could attain a hypersonic speed at Mach 6. Decades-long research and testing began to show promise. As of March 2016, Lockheed Martin demonstrated its conceptual SR-72 plane to be roughly the size of an F-22 fighter, reaching a speed of Mach 6 and this could be built for less than $1 billion. With these rapid advancements in technology research and development, the SR-72 entered development in the early 2020s and is expected to enter active service in the 2030s. Will the Dark Star close up the gap created by the Blackbird? Blackbird versus the Dark Star Since the beginning of time, jet-propelled engines fascinated the world. A few craft, such as the likes of the Bell X-1, F-100, and F-102, barely surpassed this limit, reaching supersonic speeds of 0.22 greater than the speed of sound. The 1960s, however, featured the SR-71 Blackbird, which sustained speeds of more than three times the speed of sound, faster than the Soviet's fastest interceptor, MiG-25. The Blackbird served a unique purpose unattainable by any of the aircraft of its time and today. It was close to perfection, withstanding extreme temperatures at record breaking speeds and reached very high altitudes of 80,000 feet, which was one of the most critical constraints of the Cold War era. The Blackbird could easily evade surface-to-air missiles and was never shot down during its service life. However, the SR-71 was retired, in part due to defense cuts and the exorbitant cost to operate the aircraft reaching as high as $200,000 an hour, costing about $400 million of support every year in the 80s. Now, many might think that the SR-72 Dark Star was created to fill the gap left by the SR-71, but be reminded of the existence of a high-altitude, long-endurance stealth drone, the so-called RQ-180. In years past, Lockheed repeatedly dropped hints on a proposed Cold War-era SR-71, the hypersonic SR-72 aircraft. However, the RQ-180, nicknamed the Great White Bat, addressed the need for conducting penetrating ISR missions into defended airspace 
In terms of performance and functionality, the SR72 perfectly outperforms the SR71 in speed, stealth, and missile evasion, and it features the use of weapons as a strike platform, which the SR71 lacked, being that it was only designed for intelligence gathering. Given the secretive nature of the development and use of the Great White Bat, it's difficult to say if the SR-72 was created to complement it or fully replace it. If it were to replace it, this raises the question of how long the RQ-180 is expected to serve. Either way, the SR-72 is coming home. Believed to be a top-secret project of the U.S. Air Force, the SR-72, nicknamed Son of Blackbird, is intended to serve as a reconnaissance platform and a strike platform. Being in work since 2013, very little is known and nothing has been confirmed about this air dominator, but the rumors and suggestions give us a clear picture as to what to expect. Doubling in the speed of its predecessor, the SR-72 can outrun the latest missile defense and remain unattackable. While the SR-71 was known to take pictures, not able to operate effectively with the weight of weapons, the SR-72 would have the capability to attack targets. New sensors and weapons would have to be developed for two major conditions created in traveling at hypersonic speeds. One, friction at such speeds creates intense heat, which could cause malfunctioning of current sensors and weapons that weren't designed designed to withstand such a degree of heat. Two, the airflow around the dark star is much more turbulent at hypersonic speeds. Such hypersonic speed would also require major improvements in the design of previous engine technology. As discussed in the mainstream, a propulsion system for such an aircraft will be a combination of a standard turbofan jet engine for lower speeds and a hypersonic combustion ramjet or scramjet engine for hypersonic speeds. However, just because Lockheed says they can build a Mach 6 spy plane, it doesn't mean we actually need one. Start with the flight. With the Dark Star flying at such extremely high speeds, it would be very hard to optimize it to take off and land from conventional runways. The downside of these concepts is that they have big design limitations and are extremely complex and expensive. Another area of consideration is the engine. We mentioned earlier that a combination of a standard turbofan jet engine and supersonic combustion ramjet or scramjet engine should do the trick for the Dark Star. But installing two types of engines for different scenarios in an aircraft meant to be super high performance performance and extremely fast is not a viable option. Lockheed aims to solve this hybrid engine issue by designing the engines such that they both share a common inlet and nozzle design while keeping their airflow path separate. A huge move on their end, but it still doesn't prove that there's a need for such an aircraft. The obsession over a fast-flying replacement for the SR-71 built up so much that it created the mythology of the Aurora spy jet in the mid-80s. The Aurora never existed. In the end, we're creating something that can launch from California and be over North Korea in an hour and a half. Will it just be that, or will the Dark Star be something more?